hi guys and welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded a content on this actual channel I've been pretty much busy vlogging and also doing my shred with me 30 days challenge uh, mostly focusing on weight loss eating healthy and working out for this month of June um, but yeah but I already had like content that I wanted to post and um some other that I wanted to film but with everything that's going on right now in the United States um, my head was really not into it and my heart as well so I don't know I just didn't feel like very creative or whatsoever so that's why I haven't really been posting on this channel but mostly focusing on my vlogging channel right but I figured since I actually have to go somewhere today and I have to look like a decent human being might as well film a get ready with me putting makeup on and upload it as a content on my channel right might as well so yeah so for today i'm actually going to be using the stuff that i got from sephora um i'm going to show you guys what i got in this little box here so i got the smashbox primer set i've never primed my face before doing makeup and it's something that i've always always wanted to look into and I found this little set here for like $34 so I figured why not it comes with um, a travel friendly photo finish original smooth blur primer I don't know what it is but whatever another photo finish prime water primer water which is like a spray and then you have a deluxe size photo finish primerizer which is a face primer plus a moisturizer and the last one is a photo finish minimized pores primer so I think for $34 you get a really good deal and let me open it here you have the primer water which is the spray you have the photo finish primer the primerizer which is the one that comes with the moisturizer and um, the minimized pores this one is to help minimize your pores um, I think for today I'm gonna be using the photo finish primer and I'll use the primer water to set up all my face later on and um, I don't think I need the primer moisturizer for today so I'll leave that out and the next thing that I also got from Sephora is an, a new pair of lashes House of Lashes um, collab for Sephora and I got this in Cecile and this one was on sale it was six dollars so I was like figured why not I was actually due for a new pair of falsies and I wanted something that was a little dramatic so I saw this and it was on sale I figured hey good deal next thing that I got is Fenty so I got this little set here from Fenty Beauty it's the little bronze duo so it comes with a mini bronzer and uh, a mini stick skin stick so I think one is to contour and the other one is to bronze but I'm probably gonna be using the bronzer just for contouring um, when it comes to the stick it says that you can highlight but I already have a highlighter that I really like that is actually from Fenty Beauty it's this one here it's called Hustler Baby I love this one you guys I don't know if you guys can see but yeah love it and I think little sets like these, I don't know if you can focus, are really, really good if you want to try a product and you don't want to invest that much money in the actual product itself and it comes in a travel size like this. Same thing with little primer from Smashbox like this. I think it's a really good deal and it gives you an idea of what um, type of products will actually you will actually work on your skin and if it's something that you can actually picture yourself um, using in the long term then um, I also picked up my birthday gift because <laughs> why not and that one was from milk um, so it came with the mini Kush mascara the mini lip chick um, not too sure what it is but I figured hey I need a new mascara to try so I'm gonna get that one so here's the mascara oh pretty decent side for mascara here 
and then the mini blush that you can also apply on your lips not too sure if I'm gonna be using this to be honest with you I don't know why it's not focusing but hello hello there you go and it also comes with what is this it's a grip primer I don't know what a grip primer is so this is going to stay in the little box all right and then they put this as um, my little sample from dr. Jart so this is um, moisturizing toner and a moisturizing retention shield um, again we'll probably use this another time but now time to make myself look decent the foundation I'm going to be using today is going to be um, I was gonna use Fenty but yeah I ran out so thankfully I have like a bunch of foundation that I can use um, I'm probably gonna be using either black opal or LA girl I think I'm gonna go with LA girl today so I don't know about you guys but the last couple of days have been pretty rough honestly um, very emotionally draining and exhausting and um, I don't know I just I don't know like everything that's going on right now in the United States it really breaks my heart to see that after so many decades things that still haven't changed and to be honest will probably never change um, and I'm saying that because they had so many occasions to do things right um, they had so many occasions to make sure that history does not repeat itself when it comes to police brutality and um, the way that African American are treated and still today we're still talking about 20 in 2020 we're still talking about racism and violence and killings and lynchings and it's just heartbreaking and horrific and it really made me reconsider uh, my future travel plans in the United States well for whenever we're going to be able to travel again because of this whole pandemic too um, coronavirus really killed pretty much everybody's including mine's um, travel plan but yeah I don't think I'll be back in the United States um, anytime soon so next up I'm going to use my if I can find it oh yeah So next up I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit to contour my face and I'm going to be using this shade over here but yeah and it sucks because I have a lot of family in the United States right and um, I don't know and with the election the election coming up in November I have a bad feeling that Trump might be reelected and honestly we don't need another four years of that man first of all I still don't understand how he got elected in the first place like how why but especially why um, Bernie Sanders should have been in the White House okay like I think the issue was like America was trying so hard to make history again by electing their first um, female president and the focus was so much on Hillary <sighs> that they fucked it up and then look now Trump is president so America please get your shit together <laughs> honestly signed a very annoyed Canadian citizen 
I'm gonna go ahead with um, highlighting. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl um, Pro Conceal here in the shade Medium Beige. I don't know if it's focusing, but yeah. I'm just praying that things will get better in the States um, so I can go and visit my family again. And um, yeah, it's just what's going on is just so sad. Just so sad. All right, so now I'm gonna use my sponge from Real Techniques and blend that up. And now I'm gonna use um, another concealer that I have here from LA Girl in the shade Dark Cocoa just to really highlight um, the bridge of my nose. All right, in the shade here, Dark Cocoa. So, yeah, I just finished washing my hair like literally an hour ago and um, a month ago I decided to trim my own hair and um, I don't know if you can actually notice but there's one side <laughs> of my hair that I cut a little too much and the other side that looks okay and you can tell like what was she doing like I really look like sexual Bob right now but it's okay you know what it's hair it will grow back all right it will grow back no worries about that but yeah so while I was doing uh, my blow dry I only blow dry my hair like once a month and I saw that and I was like damn I really messed that up <laughs> but yeah that was funny. I was actually thinking about doing um, box braids or Senegalese twist, but then I realized that I'm lazy, so <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my hair the way that it is right now. But yeah, so now nose is good. Perfect. Now let's jump to eyebrows. Well, for my eyebrows, I like to use this dip brown pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and using it in the shade dark brown. So here it is. If it will focus, could you please focus? You're not focusing. Oh, there you are. There it is. And this is what it looks like. So I've been religiously been using this. I, I love it way better than the actual uh, pencil. Because you can be super super precise with this in a really nice angle brush all right so eyebrows are done so now I'm gonna go ahead with eyeshadow and my favorite palette of all time is definitely Modern Renaissance by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I swear to God, this woman made a lot of money with me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think I bought every single palette that she launched. Not all of them, but a good majority of them. And, um, oh yeah, I just, I just, I loved this palette, as you guys can see. I'm due for another one, because I go through this on a daily basis not on a daily basis that's a lie i go through this every time i have to go somewhere because it gives me the most natural look ever so so i'm gonna use my brand brush and i always mix um bird orange and rego as my foundation shade i just realized i didn't bake before doing eyeshadow, I always put some. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So, completely forgot. Before I do eyeshadow, I always put some Laura Mercier under um, my eyes just to set up my highlight. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm gonna go back to eyeshadow. And FYI, I'm sorry if you can hear a construction noise and the water dripping right now. It's driving me crazy and I'm pretty sure thing that you guys can hear it too. Um, it's just 
before doing my highlight I forgot to actually yeah my sponge yeah and I did it in between the cuts and now I realized that now the water is dripping and you can hear it plus the contrast of noise <sighs> it's driving me insane and even though I have a mic on I don't know if it's actually picking that up but if it is I'm sorry it was not what I wanted you guys you have no idea how excited I am like I can't even speak that's how much excited I am to move out of this place because this what you're hearing right now I go through this Monday to Sunday 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern time construction all day every day it's annoying and that's why it was really hard for me to do some YouTube content because during the day all I could hear was construction and at the time I was recording on my iPhone and you could hear everything and I was just like oh my god I can't I couldn't produce any quality videos because my sound was just screwed up with all that construction noise like they have no respect for people honestly and what would you have construction on a weekend like don't you have a life i'm just saying i'm just saying like seriously seriously anywho so oh my god i just saw the time it's already 506 what was i doing the entire day oh yeah nothing that's why that's why like I was supposed to go to HomeSense like earlier today and what did my black eyes do? Nothing. I was chilling, I was cooking, I did my workouts and I vlog a little bit. Then I did my hair which took literally two hours. And that's the reason why I am so late for going outside. So, anywho, too much blah blah blah. I was saying, Moderna Renaissance. Anyways, back to eyeshadow. So, and then I'm gonna go here with Cypress Humber, and I'm gonna put this in the my outer crease and just blend it and then I'm gonna go ahead and use antique browns So now I'm going to go ahead and dust off um, the excess of the powder. And oh my god, you guys, I just realized that I did not use the primer. And that was the whole purpose of the video. It's okay. It's okay. Next time I will use it. I will use it next time. I promise. So, um... Now that this is done, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the bronzer from um, Fenty Beauty. So I'm just gonna find, ooh, she looks cute. Look at that. She looks very, very yummy. Okay, I'm gonna be using that and the shade of it is called Caramel Cutie. So where is my, there we go, just my brush. Alright, so far so good and I'm gonna go ahead and use the actual highlighting stick and it is in the shade cinnamon 
focused. There you go. with you guys i don't know how i feel about this not really loving the texture of that stick and it doesn't really glide that smoothly on the skin so i'm probably just gonna be using the bronzer yeah it doesn't look like i have anything on oh well so anyways then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup um, Work Lip Chick. I'm going to see. Please. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use the Milk Lip Chick. So I'm going to be using this on my cheeks and see how it looks like on my skin. Just a little dip on the apples of my cheeks um hmm i don't know how i feel about this one too it looks very very weird let me see if i can just blend it with my sponge here maybe it will do something That was a fail <laughs> it didn't do anything on my face wait let me see on my phone if I can find it I can see something yeah no that was um didn't do anything for me so I'm gonna stick to some real blush here so I'm gonna be using my all-time fave from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Raisins. Like, I've had this baby forever and I absolutely love it. This is my everything. Everything. All right. So I'm gonna apply that at the apples of my cheeks. There you go. This is what I wanted to see, some color love it Ooh, ciao. it's hot in here it is so hot in here I had to close all the doors in my apartment to prevent more noise coming in and I'm just like who I'm burning and those two lights over there hmm shot it okay all right Next, I'm going to be using the Milk Mascara and see if that works on me. I absolutely have no lashes whatsoever, so I'm really hoping that this works for me. Um, the only mascara that I use that actually does something on my lashes is the Monsieur Big from Lancome, which I do not see on my table right now. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. This one here this is the shit like I love this so much actually all the Lancome uh, mascara works really really well on my lashes and as you can see I have none so my hopes are not super super high for this right but let's see let's see how it works on me I'm actually very pleased with this like this looks really good and it actually gives me like very soft and long natural lashes which I do not have in real life Wow I am surprisingly pleased by this product like honestly milk okay okay 
I see you. Wow, this is really good. Well, now at least I know what works for my eyes, right? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is really cute. Okay, you know what, Milk? You just gained a new client. Like, ooh. But hello. I have lashes now, y'all. Oh, honey. I look cute now. I have lashes. Wow. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be buying this full size at Sephora. That was a really good birthday gift. All right, so to finish this off, I'm gonna put some lipstick on my lips and my all time favorite lipstick shade is from MAC Cosmetics and it is the, uh, nope, it's not Velvet Fetty. It is Cream in Your Coffee. I swear to God, this is like, one of the best nudes for dark skinned black women here. Like, see, when I say that I loved it so much, I know I'm due, I know I'm due to buy another one, but I just, I mean, there's still some in there. I can still use it, and I'm saying, it ain't dead, and I'm saying, I'm still gonna keep using it until there's nothing in that tube anymore. But yeah, this is my favorite one. Uh, I absolutely love that color, I just, I just love that color, but yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna change, fix myself up, and come back in exactly two seconds. There it is. So I'm back and this is my everyday self glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that I was actually able to make you laugh or whatsoever. Um, don't take these beauty tutorials that seriously because most of the time, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, so I hope you really enjoyed um, watching today's video. Um, don't forget to also check out my vlogging channel that I'm gonna be linking either up here or here or at the description down below. Um, make sure to also check out my Shred With Me 30 Days um, Shred Challenge. Every day I'm vlogging for the month of June. I'm showing my healthy recipes, my workouts, and just me struggling through it all, trying to lose some weight. Honey, I don't know about y'all, but I'm still having a hot girl summer this year, okay? And I'm trying to get this butt snatch. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so make sure to like this video, comment and leave some very constructive feedback. You know, I'm very still new to this whole YouTube thing, so most of the time I don't know what I'm doing or I just really don't know what I'm doing. So any positive feedback is always welcome. Make sure to also subscribe to my channel. You know support and share um, my videos with your friends and family and also my vlogging channel don't forget to check it out and I will see you guys in the next video may you all have a safe and blessed day bye bye